All right, so we're going to assume that you've already configured the storage device on the network, that it's available on the network, that it's got an IP address, it's available uh, via a host name. So we're going to open up a web browser and connect into the backend storage device itself via the IP address. So right from within the Unisphere portal, you've got sections to the left. Under the system service tab, you've got service tasks up the top where you can now go and configure uh, how you can reboot, restart, put into maintenance mode, your SAN or your storage processes themselves. If you need to reboot the storage processes, you can do that directly through here. If you need to shut down the SAN, you can do it directly through here also. Now be aware you're shutting down the SAN. There's no way of turning it back on unless you physically go to the SAN and power it back on. So if the SAN is not with you, if it's at a data center, for example, uh, once you shut it down, you're going to need somebody to go and turn it back on. Okay. So literally the steps are you come into here to so select shutdown story system, and then you'll see some information here. Read that before you begin, just to be sure that you know what you're doing. Print off the power up procedure to make sure that you are powering up things in the correct order when you are shutting down and restarting and bringing things up. Execute the start shutdown storage system task. It says that the process will take 10 to 20 minutes. That's not exaggerating. It can take a fair bit of time for the sand to shut down. So make sure that you give it enough time before you click on that big execute button down the bottom. So there you go. That is how you shut down the sand. Now the main purpose you want to shut it down is perhaps there needs to be some maintenance done. You need to add something new to it. You need to relocate it from one spot to another. If your SAN is having problems though, uh, think about perhaps restarting the storage processes first before shutting down and power cycling the entire SAN. Sometimes the problem lies with the storage processes. Well, you can go into here and you can say reboot, execute. We can reboot one and then reboot the other one, see if that problem is solved. If that still doesn't solve the problem, then you can perhaps shut down the entire unit. But that is really the steps on how to shut down your storage system, the EMC uh, Unity SAN. So there you have it. That is my overview. I hope you found this helpful. There's definitely a lot of stuff that uh, you can go into on the storage device. If you want to know more, let me know. We've also got a whole bunch of other videos that talk about SAN and NASAs um, of various types and the different technologies associated with those, as well as a whole bunch of other technology videos across my Digital Bike Computing YouTube channel. Either way, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and follow me as well to keep updated on my new videos as they get released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.